Eric and Eric here from Muskie Homebrew, and I'm going to tell you why I have 4-inch pipe in my keyser coming up next. When we built our keyser, or my keyser here, we've got a 10-inch collar on it, and it's not meant to be built upon. So the issue I was running into was my beer lines uh, were a different temperature than my kegs. And basically the top or the higher part of the keyser was a warmer temperature than the bottom part because that's the part that was chilling. So the solution to that, which most home brewers try and attack, is putting a fan in there. And this was the easy, simple, like $10 or less solution that I had. Uh, and it is a uh, four inch schedule 40 pipe, a flange and a 90 on the bottom of it, which is like the perfect height. Um, I think this is three or four feet of uh, a piece here. Okay. Four feet. And you can get it at your local Harbor or Harbor homebrew hardware store. Uh, the fan somehow like just perfectly Fit fits perfectly into, into this thing. So I don't even uh, like, screw it on there. I just kind of set it on well, there. Yeah, it's it not fits move. perfectly. But the fan is 120 volts and then we just plug it into the wall after it sets on top. And we just put this entire thing in the keyser and it helps recirculate or pull cold air from the bottom, bring it through and then pull it up to the top of the keyser. And it helps it maintain basically a, the same temperature throughout the entire keyser rather than having it colder towards the bottom and warmer at the top. So this piece, we're gonna measure because we're taking bets on it right now. <laughs> we don't know how long it is, but I'm gonna tell you in a minute. We got a tape measure for it. Two feet. <laughs> it's two feet. I was wrong. All right, so the four inch PVC, two feet, 90, flange. Link in the description for each of those pieces. And then an Amazon link to the fan that we purchased, 120 volts, sits right on top um, and just helps recirculate all the air. Keep your keyser the same temperature all around. So we'll just show you just how we have it installed. It just sits in the keyser, honestly. And um, that'll be yeah. about it. Once you have the three pieces put together, so all we do is slide it right into the corner of our keyser. And then the fan that we use somehow magically fits the toilet flange. Uh, we just have the wire running I'm gonna turn it so it's closer to the outlet. Okay. And then we plug it in. You can hear it start up. Voila. So now it's just recirculating the air from the top to the bottom. So that is uh, one solution that we've come up with, that I came up with, uh, for recirculating the air in your keyser. There's many ways you can do it. People, some people just mount the fan itself to the lid, mm -hmm. and that way it stays out of the way. You don't have anything inside your keyser. You might be able to fit another keg in there if you can do it that way. Um, but this is just one solution uh, that we came up with to recirculate the air in your keyser. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for the notification on the next video. Like this video if it helped you keep your keys are cool. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. I had to give you beer. Mmm. Beer. It shit's like a brown green. It's weird. Hey! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs>